hallelujah, to Jesus be all the praise. Hallelujah, glory to God. You got on your your <laughs> your uh, your astronaut suit, hallelujah, because it's a blast off time in the spirit. There is fire. There is Holy Ghost. Uh, spaceship power have it like the space shuttle taking off a special kind of uh, uh, gasoline and, and hydraulic fuel and all the fuel that goes along There's a spe God is releasing that special uh, uh, fuel to empower to spring forth to bring forth revival a release of the glory hallelujah 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 Jesus! Hallelujah. Honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. Neither have I. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to, but it's not about seeing with this eye. It's about seeing with the eye of your heart. And learn how to connect with, your, connect with it with your faith. There's a prophetic mood that's being released right now in the name of Jesus. God's releasing something fresh. Huh? He can take something that has been and breathe on it and, uh, and give it to you. And you're like, wow, I, this is, I know, I used to know it like that, but now I know it in a whole other way. Why? Because you have greater, there's greater light, there's greater revelation, and the encounter intensifies and you know it on a whole other level. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I double dog dare you to give all your heart to Jesus. Quit playing games. Quit just living well. I think I do what I want. No, you can't do what you want. It's not about you. It's about him releasing the fullness of his person in and through his church. Hallelujah. To fill all things through the body, his fullness. To fill the whole universe with the fullness of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glo oh, hallelujah. Something has gotten turned on on the inside of me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've had to walk through seasons, situations where, my God, they last for years. And, uh, you know, not that it was negative because I was walking with Jesus. Hallelujah. But I tell you, there can be some hard seasons and hard times. Hi oh, my God. But when it comes time, birth has been given and God is releasing a supernatural wave of Holy Ghost fire, power, love, dominion, the kingdom. Hallelujah. We have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Jesus is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's just getting good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Bible says, I believe it's Psalms 110. It says, God, your people will be willing in the day of your power. Hallelujah. God is drawing back many people that have backslidden, many people that have fallen. They've been in hard times spiritually. It's just like they seem like they hit a wall and couldn't get off of it. And it, they, you know, and there's people out there, uh, true believers. And there's also the lost. Hallelujah. You might not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Honey, it's no t it's not never a time to be playing with eternity. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is heaven and there is hell. And Jesus doesn't send you to hell. It's your choice. It's your choice. God created you as a free, moral, hallelujah, person that has their own decisions. You have to make, the Holy Spirit will come and convict you when somebody's preaching the gospel and you feel that feeling like, oh, and he's trying to draw you out of darkness into the light of Jesus. That's why you want to get mad. You want to get frustrated. You want to like, I don't want to know. Because darkness is holding on to you, honey. And it's time to say, that's enough of that. I'm coming out of spiritual darkness into the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's time to wash your hands, wash your feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Spiritually speaking, glory to God. Hallelujah. God is merciful. Jesus is merciful. He is kind. He is forgiving. Hallelujah. But you, but you, as he draws you, 
you got to accept that invitation. You can't, well, I'll just do it tomorrow. Well, you may not have tomorrow. Hallelujah. You may, you may not. You may be in, in eternity to tomorrow. You never know. Hallelujah. Not that I'm trying to put some trip on you, but go, hallelujah. Glory to God. We think we'll be here forever. And you know that, no. Hallelujah. 70, 80 years, 90 years, that's nothing. That's nothing, nothing. That's just, that's like, that's like a wink in somebody's eyes com compared to eternity. Hallelujah. Really, the whole human uh, existence that God created until now, uh, from the beginning and even until now, is almost just like a half a wink. That's, that's how, really, in in God's mind, the t the time of it. I mean, not that God God is outside of time, but if they, if there's any way to try to describe it, our, so our life is not even just a wink. It's just, and the Bible says this is the the rhema word. By which the gospel is preached. Flesh, hallelujah, is like a flower. It blossoms and it's beautiful for about two or three, you know, a, a day, a month, or, you know, but then it's, it's gone. Hallelujah. And that's the same way with physical life, you, you know, 15, 20, 30. Oh, yeah, I'm good looking. Wait to 60 and everything's sagging. Oh, yeah, it don't last very long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give your heart to Jesus. He loves you. He died for you. He's the only one that's paid the full price for you to be free and full of God's life, power, goodness, and mercy, and his whole, his whole kit and caboodle, the train of his robe that fills the temple. God bless you. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.